This activity, shaving cream art, meets two desired results for children. Desired result number one is children are personally and socially competent. The developmental domain is attention regulation and it meets measure three, engagement and persistence, and measure four, shared use of space and materials. The second desired result is desired result two, children are effective learners. The developmental domains that fall under this category are attention regulation, measure one, curiosity and initiative in learning, language development, measure one, understanding of language, and measure two, responsiveness to language. Next is COG, measure one, cause and effect, physical development, measure four, fine motor, manipulative skills, and visual and performing arts, measure one, visual art. Today's activity, we will be doing shaving cream art. For the activity, we gathered our items. We have blue paint, red paint, shaving cream, white paper, a straw to mix it up, and a tray that we will be doing our, our art on. First, as the teacher, I am going to put the shaving cream on the tray. Next, we are going to use the droppers to drop paint on our shaving cream. So what you're going to do is you're going to pinch it, put it in the watercolor, and let it suck up just like that. Release it, okay? Okay. Okay, go ahead and decorate your masterpiece here. You can even create a picture if you'd like. Do as much or as little as you would like. So remember, any part that you do not put color on, what color is our shaving cream? White. White. So do you think it'll show up if you don't put any color? If our paper is white? No. No. <laughs> I can tell you're really in the zone. Are you creating something? Or are you just putting the color down? Pattern. Oh, you're creating a pattern. Hmm. To extend the activity, you could ask them to create a picture. Or after the process is done, you could ask them what their picture reminds you of. Or reminds them of. Today, Ryder picked the colors red and blue, but to extend the project, you can use primary colors so that you could also ask the child what colors they become. What is a secondary color created? And blue and red makes purple. Yep, you're right. You can also create different shapes. Today, we decided to go with a rectangle because our paper is rectangular shaped. Okay, now I'm just going to stitch the last line and then it's going to be red. Okay, so when you're all done doing that, then you can use the straw to mix the colors if you would like. You can make a design in there, okay? And now it's time for red. The top is bended. That's okay. I don't know why it came like that.
Okay, now it's time for this one. And when you squeeze it well out, like any paint, it makes a bubble. Yeah, yeah, it does. I see that. Might be because there's some air in there. See how when you push out in the paint, it creates bubbles in the paint too? I think we're running out of some red. You think so? Yeah. Kind of reminds me of Dr. Seuss. These are the colors of one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Yeah. Oh, or thing one and thing two. Oh yeah, they are, they have blue hair and they have red clothes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Are you all done? Yep. Okay, so now you can mix it. You can make a design, a shape. But we want to make sure that there's a pretty even layer of shaving cream. So try not to move the shaving, and cream, shaving cream around too much. And let me know when you're all done. What color do you see mostly? Um, red. Mostly red, right? Yeah. I wonder if I made the red darker than the blue. Yeah, when you stir, it looks like, like, um, blue marshmallow and, like, red, blue marshmallow and, like, Red, when you mix it around, there's some white, so it looks like those right, right things. Those are like white and um, red. Oh, like the peppermint marshmallows? Yeah. Oh, okay. Not the peppermint marshmallows. I'm talking about like, it looks like marshmallow. The blue marshmallow, and so like they go in hot, hot cocoa. Oh, yeah. And it kind of looks like a dip. it doesn't like mix into a new color. It, you, when you just stir it around, it just makes. That is weird. I wonder if it is because we did the blue first and all the watercolor kind of settled to the bottom. Let me know when you're ready to put the piece of paper on. Now. Yeah. Okay, so we'll put the straw down. Why? Because we don't need it anymore. You can set it right here. Put it out of the way. Okay, and then I'm going to explain it to you first and then I'll have you do it, okay? So you're going to take your piece of paper, you're going to lay it on top, flat and then you're going to use your hand to gently smooth it out okay okay are you ready go ahead it's going through the paper okay are you ready to see the picture that you created okay so a last minute addition to our supplies it is a tool that you use on cakes to smooth out the frosting. This is what we are going to use today instead of our squeegee. So I am going to pull up our piece of paper. This is what it looks like. Actually, it did a really good job of not getting a whole lot of shaving cream on it. So push this to the side. And We'll gently take off any of the excess shaving cream. Oh, I need a paper. 
Okay, what do you think? What is, does it look like anything to you? No, not really. I think it kind of looks like a marbled pattern. I see a couple different shapes in there. This one kind of looks like a heart right here. See how it goes out and then like that. A big heart. Yeah, a big heart. I think it's a very pretty. We didn't get a whole lot of color mixing, huh? And that looks like a monster. See, yeah, that looks like a monster. With one eye. Oh, yeah, I see it. That does look like a monster. With one eye. <laughs> okay, how was this activity today? Good. Good? Was it fun? Okay. And got enjoyed. <laughs>